Hey everyone, we're back with more of the Evil Within. We got lots left to do today. We've moved up two chapters, three chapters already. We're getting some butt butt kickery in. Wintrick, I have a question for you. How do you feel about Luster? Luster is very good. All right. I fixed Luster's positioning on stream. Oh, hello there. Statue. That worked out for the best. All right. All right, Wintrigue, we're going to go back into the mirror world and we're going to open up a, uh, a locker. You get to pick one of the lockers. Back again, detective? Alright, pick a locker, Wintrig. So first, what row? One to four. Second row, third from the left. So this one. And inside we get weapon parts. Look at that. Good choice. Alright, now we have one more key, so I'm gonna roll the dice. Okay, same row. Last locker. Okay, well we needed bullets, so that worked out. Alright. I like the locker system, it's very good. There's nothing wrong with being cautious, but you can't avoid fighting forever. Yeah, we have Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Shut up, lady. I already have all the combat skills I can want. Alright, we need 6,000 for that, and 3,000 for that. I also have a red gel, and I kind of, like I said, I kind of really want to get this, but it's 75,000 when I could just use all those on the other upgrades. So at the same time, I don't really want to use it, and this, I got hit and, like, hit, but I don't really think that's going to be all that useful. <laughs> After that, I got to decide, do I want HP or just more stamina? Reflexes will be good because you can dodge tanks. In the meantime, though, this is the next one we're going to go for. I could just get this now. Hey, she's never glasses on. You've returned. And now you fully understand what you're up against. Oh my He's God. powerful. He's also a sick freak. But he is as driven as you are. And seeking the same thing. You are more alike than you'd care to admit. I'm not like him. He's a murderer. And there are no bodies strewn in the path behind you? I'm not here to debate with you. Let's get going. I've got stuff to do. He's not here to debate, hey man. Alright, unfortunately we don't have enough weapon parts. We need 800. That's right, 800 weapon faces. I know it's crazy, but we're going all in on the handgun. At least I didn't use anything more than the handgun to, uh, to do that part. 
Ah, back into the marrow. What do you say? Uh, exit D5? Yeah, D5. I actually don't really care for these parts in the marrow. Marrows like uh, these underground tunnels uh, that Mobius used to get between uh, areas of the city without anyone noticing. They're like the least interesting part of the game so far. They're a necessary part of the game, I get it, but... This must be the passage O'Neill was talking about. Dad? Lily? Oh, this place is messing with my mind. Those ones are harder to do than the ones in Spider-Man, at least. Ooh, weapon parts! I guess you're gonna have to start giving me more than that. Oh, a thousand goop juice, I'll take that. Yeah, you guys are gonna have to start giving me more than... than ...ten, five weapon parts. We need... ...a hundred weapon parts per. That eight hundred is super good. Maybe O'Neill will give me a bunch when I get back to him. Well, I don't think we're going back to O'Neill, so never mind. Ah, look at that, another handgun bullet in it. I'll take it. Get three out of five handgun touches, one cheek. Oh, hey, dude. Goop juice. We've almost got enough to get our next up, I guess. That's at 6,000. I can hear them, but I don't see them. Also, is there a way through? I saw something back here that might be useful. This map doesn't actually show us where D5 is. Like, Separated, but then you'd think D5 would be in D5, but it, it isn't always. Here. Can we go back through here and just lead me somewhere, or does this just take me back the way we came? I think this is. Yeah, okay, this is this is how we got up here. Alright, okay. know where this is. We can also use this to uh, flee from uh, enemies if we really need to. Looky, looky, more weapon parts, and clover. Nine out of 32 keys. Wintry picked a good one last time. We uh, She got us uh, some weapon parts. Don't tell her that. She'll think that she's good. They're moving in tandem. Look at that dance. Good 
you gonna turn around or you're gonna keep heading in this direction he's got red eye syndrome though look at that We can use if we can get these guys without using ammo. That's the that's the ideal scenario. Sorry if this is really dark, guys. So, these guys got like pants on. Do you think they also rip their own shirts off, or like, what do you, what do you think happens there? I like how they put the uh, barrel that you can use to like ignite them after you kill them. West access tunnels. Hey Matt, what are your thoughts on access tunnels? I like how they built this place like in a giant facility that they have to go through to get to each uh, area when they probably could have just programmed it so that they had like six doors in a room and each one led to a different area. Like literal hub access. Oh. That's an awful lot of cum. Why does he walk like that when he steps in it? Yeah, this is... This is an awful lot of... Awful lot of salmon here. I think I remember this part. I'm moving the camera around a lot because I'm trying to see all the TVs and also uh, any potential loot in the area. Like that plan. Stop and listen to yourself, Myra. A secret society abducted Lily and staged her death? Do you realize how crazy that sounds? But it's true. Why can't you understand that? I know it's hard to accept, Myra. But she's gone. Our little girl is gone. But I have proof. Look. Myra. You're obsessed. You need rest. Once you get past this, you'll learn to accept. No. I'll never accept it. If you won't help me, I'll find out the truth on my own. Myra. You were right all along. She was right all along. But why am I seeing this now? Seeing this now because PM had a shit.
Alright. There we go, another photographic slide. A relic from pre phone camera era. These are found mostly in old people's attics and estate sales. Read that before. Well, the plot thickens. It turns out Sebastian's wife knew about Mobius, and he acted all surprised at the beginning of the game that it ended up being true. Like, it was something he had never heard of before. But not only is he a terrible father, he's a terrible husband because he didn't listen to his wife at all. No, I... I Losing your child in a fire is, does not make you a terrible dad. He's probably a terrible dad for other reasons. But, you know. Having a fire in your home is not something... Oh, okay. This is actually exactly what my sperm looked like. Good God, look at the size of that thing. Maybe I can sneak past it. Maybe you can. Does this thing ever like look in the other direction though? Multiple cum beasts. All right, fine. I was immediately spotted by the cum beast. All right, I got to right here. I gotta get the hell out of here. Like, the thing doesn't turn away, so how the hell are you supposed to sneak through? Maybe I can sneak by past this cum base, but it doesn't take its eyes off of where you need to walk. Well, yes, indeed. I didn't actually use any of my bullets. There's similar sounds to the clickers from uh, The Last of Us. I thought this place was supposed to be fucking stable. You saw the outside, right? That's exit 72. Why do they have 72 exits? It seems like a terrible security system. I mean, it's great if you, uh, like, you know, catch somebody. Catch somebody as they're waiting there trying to mask the frequency, but, uh, if they have all the time in the world, it's easy to get through that. Hurry, emergency core displacement protocols. It is imperative that a missing core be replaced as soon as possible. A core that has been missing for even a few hours can affect STEM programming. If the core is missing for over 36 hours, emergency protocols must be instituted in order to prevent the core from escaping. Emergency protocols are only ac accessible for Mobius operators with alpha security clearance and can only be viewed on the Mero servers. Okay, that's good to know. 
Any handgun bolts, guys? Not shotgun shells. I'll take. You know what? I'll take the uh, the weapon parts though, and the herbs, and the spices, and the everything nices. We're here. These are usually marked safe rooms. Thank you for that camera angle. That's the door I just went in, right? Someone's been watching. Someone's been waiting. Someone's been commiserating. Really? Whoever's been here was gathering data on her. Don't move. You're Mobius, right? I... Shut up! <clears throat> Don't say a word! You're not one of us. No, I'm not. Kidman sent me. Look, I'm here to help, okay? My name is Sebastian Castellanos. You're lying. Sebastian Castellanos is dead. What? No. Who told you that? Turn around. Do it slow. Oh, it's the uh, Mobius operative that we haven't met yet. You're Yukiko Hoffman. How do you know my name? I told you. They sent me in here to find my daughter Lily. The core. I'm telling you the truth. I know. You do? Lack of micro expressions and deflection. No verbal parroting. I've seen enough to know you're telling the truth. Right. The team psychologist. Here's a stethoscope. I have to use whatever tools I have to survive. Combat isn't my forte. Seems to be a running theme here. Sorry for pointing my gun at you. So they're sending independent contractors now? That means things aren't improving. Have you found any other team members? I have, but the only one I've found alive is O'Neill. Liam is alive? Good. Has he made any progress on stabilization? The big emitter's back on, but this place is still falling apart. And I think it's all because of this psycho that kidnapped Lily. He's running loose in Union and can manipulate this place at will. That means my theory is correct. This is more than a core disconnect. We doctors don't like to use the term psycho in pejorative terms. But in this case, it's apropos. Only a clinically diagnosed psychopath could affect STEM like this. A psychopathic personality type using Lily to amplify his power. This is the worst possible situation. You're a shrink. Any suggestions on how to defeat him? Psychopaths are antisocial, lack empathy, and exhibit sadistic tendencies. But their main commonality is their pathologic egocentricity. They don't care about people, only themselves. Can you think of anything that would be important to him? Yeah. He thinks he's some sort of artist. It's all he talks about. Then maybe the best way to attack him would be through his art. Destroying something valuable to him could knock him off of his guard. I'll keep that in mind. But I've got to get to him first. He's holed himself up in the theater. Right. So exit D5 then. It's right here, just in the next room. Let's pair our communicators so that we can stay in touch. I'll review my files and see if I can't dig up any more information about what's going on. I still feel like there's more to this. Regardless, he's probably going to be difficult to fight. Feel free to help yourself to anything here you might need. Yeah, like that red gel shining in the background. <laughs> so does Lily really think I'm dead? Or was that just a part of your lie detecting test? Sorry to break it to you, but she does. I thought it was the truth too until just now. But over the years, I've learned to take everything Mobius tells me with a pinch of salt. It wasn't difficult to see you were telling the truth. Why would they do that? What kind of monsters do you work for? I know it's not right, but consider this. Lily is probably less traumatized by thinking you're dead than by thinking you're alive, but she can't be with you. Yeah, maybe. 
But what will happen when I finally find her? Don't worry. She'll believe the evidence of her eyes once she sees you. If Mobius knew to keep psychopaths out of STEM, then how did one end up in here? I don't know. Every individual in STEM was subjected to a battery of psychological exams prior to placement. And we've been observing them from here, in secret, to keep an eye out for mental instability. Yeah. Well, that didn't work. Unfortunately, psychopathy and sociopathy are incredibly difficult to diagnose correctly. Psychopaths tend to be cunning and highly intelligent. Aware of their own diagnosis, they're able to disguise themselves among us. The fact that this one was able to fool us? He's obviously adroit and self-aware. Disturbingly so. Great. So the tests only filtered out the weakest of psychos. I feel terribly responsible for all of this. I helped devise those tests. Fun fact, Wintrig is a sociopath. You said you think there's something more to this? I studied the Beacon incident extensively so that we could avoid another disaster like that. In that case, the person in question was the core. But even then, the environment remained relatively intact. Something just doesn't seem right here. What do you mean? The creatures in here. The dissolution of Union. The total breakdown in communication with Mobius. It just seems like a lot for one person. Even with the power of the core. He mentioned someone before. Another person who wanted the core's power. That could mean... No. It's too horrible to contemplate. What? There's only one thing that could be more powerful than a psychopath in here. But I need to do some research before I can commit to the theory. So, they're assuming that this person had an achievement, the team psycho, uh, uh, psychologist. Anyway, they're assuming that the uh, person who got access to this place was um, actually a, uh, a psychopath and that it was somebody that went through their testing but isn't it also since it's a machine possible that someone built another machine or someone with the know-how had a uh the ability to jack into the system <sighs> let all your psychopaths in like for all we know vector Seder was the one who uh who, who did this it's entirely possible. And you know what? I wouldn't put it past him. Take anything you want here, and there's like fucking one item in this place. Are you serious? Okay, there's weapon parts too. Four candidates. Who all concerned? From Operative Grisham. By Willie Cassiano's initial finding, the ideal core candidate must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given these parameters, there are only two possible candidate types, egomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies or children. We all know what happened the last time an egomaniac with psychopathic tendencies was in STEM, so a child is our best bet. Having access to standardized cool school test results, we were able to narrow down our options. We feel we've found the ideal core candidate in Lily Castellanos. Her tests show that she's not only a guileless ego, but she exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for her age. We're sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further testing. So Lily, standardized tests are what really nailed her to the wall in this case. So what they need to do in the future is um, kids need to just fail their standardized testing on purpose. Yeah, how dare I out you like that? Damn it, guys, we don't have enough green gel. Thought we did. We don't. We need 6,000. That's fine, though. We might get it through the key at least. Hmm. Alright, Wintry, that pick another. So good. Let me help you. Wintry, pick another uh, locker. Three down, two from left. So that's one. All right. That gave us a medical kit. Fortunately, we don't need it right now. But the things go awry. Now we have another healing item. 
I was very much hoping that we had enough stuff. But we do have, actually, we might get enough stuff. We got the slide. Let's look at this. Time for some more conversations with Kidman. We got this picture with the cat in front of the... Uh... Go on. That was very cute. That was very Bailey. Speaking of Bailey, can you check on her? You can do it after this scene if you want. Pick up, Kidman. I'm here. The first time I saw Myra, she was wearing that uniform. I think I fell in love with her right then and there. I didn't want to admit it to myself. But after she was injured on duty, I knew I couldn't risk not telling her how I felt. She was such a great wife and mother that I sometimes forget she was a great detective, too. She was right. She knew there was something fishy about Lily's death. I, I mean, kidnapping. I should have believed her from the start. There's no way you could have predicted the truth, Sebastian. You know this. I mean, there's no way he could have predicted the truth when Myra literally predicted the truth. <laughs> She's probably in the bedroom. I see you're in need of my services again. I'm gonna just buzz to be let into my apartment. There's nothing wrong with being cautious. But you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Like, we got two red gel to use, but I really don't want to use them on these, because these ones take so much green, green juice. I guess, do these count? One, two. Well, this one takes like three to get all of them, too. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that, that, that ends up. Yeah. Anyway, then this is the next one we're going to get right here, though. The uh, make our brawler damage higher. I haven't decided if I want to use the red gel here. I think I kind of want to use it on the stamina, because getting access to the ability to dodge or more stamina is always great in these games. Plus, uh, if we go down this path, we get the ability to have a higher chance of just auto-dodging attacks, which, God, do I love auto-dodging attacks. Anyway. Okay, guys, I, I know I just sent Wintrig to go check on Bailey, but I just got a call to get access to the building for some reason. So I gotta go take a quick BRB to check that. Oh, there it is. So give me a sec and I'll be right back.